not like this, but like this, in the base. The base meaning from the forearms to the shoulders. But the back has to be totally open. Okay. So let me explain here for a moment. So you see, if you let go, this brings the tendency this to happen. And then of course, so instead of that, the base, look at the base. Center and create more space. You see, from the elbows to the shoulders, more and more space. And then from the back is where you try to like really totally open. If you're not open from your back, if you don't let this happen, of course this is going to happen. So from the back you have to be totally open. And then the, to compensate the energy, instead of moving towards gravity, in the horizontal look, it's not even about going up or down, it's the horizontal look. Horizontal. Instead of like down and up, horizontal. And that becomes the sphere. <laughs> okay, so same principle that you found here in the shoulders is the same thing that happens here. Right? But then you keep the shoulders, but you have to in make it like the consciousness of the back totally independent from the shoulders. It's not like this, otherwise you end up this, like this. This is what happens when you don't have the awareness on the shoulders. Okay, now, the arms. Again, like, naturally, your arms do like this, you see? And they tend to come closer. So, before we invent the blocks, <laughs> this is the way, like in the traditional yoga, that pose was have been performing. Now the whole thing of working like this is because when you work like this, you see you do it like this and look how the shoulder can go really far. When you do it like this, you cannot move the elbow that far. You see, look here and then I go. Look. So this is creating like an artificial limit to facilitate the process of falling back. So for example, if you're very open from your back, if you do it like this, and it's probably the only way that is this, you're going to feel it much, much easier because it's, it's creating like an artificial limit, right? If you are not that flexible from your back, go for this one because since you are naturally not that flexible, actually what you need is to be totally open otherwise your back won't be able to do this. Now, if you learn to do this variation first, through constant practice, you learn how to do this one, but then you won't be able to do the other variations. This one actually is easier because you have the legs to compensate the weight. See, so then you find the, the principle between the base and the hips being over, and then it doesn't matter what variation you're doing. And also, of course, if you learn like this, then it requires more awareness, especially if you're flexible, and then it's going to be easier for you to move into other variation. So this one is easier because it's like a artificial limit, but then there's something that is not that you are not controlling with your awareness. If you can control it from here, then of course it's, it's all about the control that you have realized. But all this is not that it's right or wrong, it's just that it's ways, different ways. And ultimately you have to figure out which one is the one that works better for you. It's not like this is the way, this is not the way, no. It's just different ways. It's good to see why this one is like that and why this one is like that, because that will give you more range of discrimination, which one is the work that the best, the work the best for you. That's it, it's just a style. So, <laughs> Let's learn this one since this is the one that we